How much power does it take to make Yorick levitate? If you missed it, this is our new talking, levitating servo skull from Warhammer 40k. Praise the Omnissiah. He's taken the place of our new secretary in our office, and a big part of this build was making the skull actually float. There are no hidden wires. The ones that you see are floppy and are only for data and power transfer. The levitation works just by raw physics and using the most magical material on Earth. Magnets. Now, we could have just had two attracting magnets held apart by a cable, but to me, that's not really levitation. That cable may as well be a solid rod. So instead, we made this massive electromagnetic coil and a special circuit to control it. There's a little sensor on the bottom of the coil that can measure magnetic fields and a massive magnet embedded in the skull. By measuring the distance between the magnet and the sensor, the circuit is able to give super short little pulses that keep repeatedly tugging the magnet up just as it begins to fall. Remarkably, this process is incredibly efficient, and even though the skull and all of its internals weigh about half a kilo, the circuit only draws between 3 and 6 watts, which is about as much as a flashlight or less than a tenth of the wattage needed to satisfy your mom.